So, you guys want to come check out the farm? Food plots and all that stuff I put in this summer? That's where we're headed right now. I think that's the only way we can do that. Big old main smallmouth bass. Put it on a drop shot for about 28 foot of water. <laughs> the first 15 minutes. We're here. We're at the farm. Try not to smash you guys off anything. A little bit humid today, actually, but it's not bad. Here we are in the lower barn. I don't know what Peter, the landowner, calls it, but. So basically, I'm just gonna be waiting on Jordan today at this point. Um, I'm trying to focus for you guys here real quick. There we go. So waiting on Jordan right now. Uh, he should be here within the next 10 minutes. We're gonna go out, we're gonna show you guys the food plots I put in, we're gonna show you some of the stands, we're gonna check on them, make sure everything still looks good. We just put them up so they should be good, but the brush blinds and ground blinds, I wanna make sure that the wind didn't blow a bunch of stuff out of the way and make sure that's all good. And we got these, uh, I gotta put up one of these right here from Skyline Safety System, which I'll, I'll put down below, you can get them on Amazon. Um, it's a lifeline, but it's made by Skyline Safety System, which was, one of Peter's companies who's the, the landowner here. So we're gonna throw that up in the last stand and uh, just check some trail cameras. Been a couple weeks since we've been out checking cameras. So pretty excited to see what's on there, what's moving, see if any new bucks have, have moved in yet. But six days until opener of Expanded Archery. I can't even believe it. But I'll let you know when Jordan's here and then uh, we'll head out. Jordan's here, he's right there. Okay, we're headed out. First objective is to do something, I don't know yet. Probably, probably gonna check cameras first. Probably gonna check cameras first, because yeah. we're pretty antsy to check those. Yeah. Slick uh, six, we need to see a picture of him. Yeah, we got two slick six pointers, no brow tines. Florence and Slick. Florence and Slick, those are the slick. two. Slick grew up on the other side of the uh, yeah. railroad tracks. Yeah. He's pretty rough. Florence is, uh, he's, he's, he's a little bit of a high roller. Yeah, he's high end. Yeah. Comes he's, from a rich family. You know, he's probably the type of deer that'd be hopping in like a Bugatti or a Lambo. Yeah. The other guy, he rides a bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this tree right here is called, like a, I'll show you the bark. Looks like any sort of a, a normal oak tree. The leaves are kind of kind of pointy. It's like a fuzzy dwarf lemon lime tree or something. There's a, uh, see if I can zoom in on it. But there's, there was quite a few of them on here, but there is none on the ground, so. None in reaching distance, at least. No. So I don't know, I imagine they're bitter, but apparently they like them. Joe Holland was telling me about it, one of my buddies. He knows a lot about the woods, so it's like, what the heck is a lemon lime tree in Maine? He's like, fuzzy dwarf, blah, blah, blah. Something like that. We're at the ground blind. The actual pop-up ground blind. Right there. Looks, looks like it last held up all right. I'm sure by this time they're used to it anyway. That's why I like to get pop-ups out early so it's not so intrusive and loud when they're around. I'm a bit jealous of Jeff right now because uh, he gets to start hunting next weekend. You do too. I get yeah. to start filming next weekend. You're gonna weekend. be the record button specialist. Big time. Everybody <laughs> needs one of those. <laughs> yeah. This this food plot here was planted in brassicas and then I came in and over planted it with some clover. Um, and the weeds have taken over pretty good but there's some good Good uh, Dutch clover growing up here. And then the brassicas and stuff are, they look all right. They're growing pretty good. So a little bit of everything for them. 
they really like those brassicas in the fall so but this is my first time ever planting anything so i don't really know what i'm doing it's on that's a good start so we'll fast forward through all of this and if we f see anything cool or worth anything showing you we'll show it to you that's that clubby guy oh yep this, this buck's spot. pretty cool he's got no i think he's just gonna be uh he's got like a i have the pictures up right now but he's got like a spike on one side and then like a turkey foot three on the other side first pictures i've got of him in the food plot though Ooh. We'll have to put that picture up because we can't see it right there. Yeah, but we'll show it to you better. Yeah, he's an old deer. His tines are four inches at the most, probably. Oh, that's an old deer. But he's got big. What's his body look like? His body looks good. I don't have a great shot of it, but you can tell his face is old. Oh, yeah. And that was just that was oh, yesterday. Yeah. Yesterday he was right here. We don't have a name for that guy yet. Foghorn Longbeam. I think we'll try something different, but <laughs> no, you you're on the right path. I mean, on it? I mean, Foghorn, Fog, uh, fog uh, Beam, lo, lo, Beam Fog, uh, Old Long, Long, Old Long, long. Two Tone. <laughs> By the time this video is edited, we'll have something for it. And then just gonna make the mock scrapes the same as I did in one of my last episodes. Evercom liquid in a spray bottle and then Evercom the stick formula right on the actual looking branch. And this is perfect where under 20 yards to this. So I won't be hunting this spot this year. I'll just be filming with Jeff. Um, this is a uh, spot that he worked with the landowner on getting access to so i don't have permission to hunt it right now um, but who's who knows what the future holds but i'm pretty excited for him but it'll be cool because i i really enjoy bow hunting right now i've kind of i haven't shot a rifle deer since 2012. Um, not that i haven't been trying i just haven't seen a deer i wanted to shoot with it so it'll be cool come rifle season i'll be able to film him hunt with a gun and He'll fill me with the bow, so it kind of, it'll work out, I it's think. Gonna, it's gonna balance out pretty well. Yeah. And then our big November trip where, who knows what's gonna happen with that, but. That's what I'm excited for. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. And two for two, we're turning them on. Is that him? That's not him, that's a that's different one. That's a different one. buck. That's a big deer. Ooh. Look at the brows. That's that buck that I got picture of far away out here. That's a good main deer. I don't care who you are. The landowner actually said, I told him, I said, there's a lot of young bucks over here right now. He said, you wait till end of August. He said, the bigger bucks will move in. And he was right. There's two really good deer so far. And then who knows what the rut's gonna bring through. This way, we can be attached to the tree the whole entire time climbing up. So basically this is a just a slip knot. So you'll hook your carabiner from your harness into this. As you climb, you pull it up with you, climb, pull it up with you, so you're always attached. Then if for whatever reason when you're transferring into the stand or whatever, if you go to fall, that cinches down. So it catches you. Because one thing to be up in the stand and excited and everything like that, but a lot of times when you fall, it's getting in and out of the stand, so that's a really good tool to have. The Skyline Safety System makes that. Can you imagine a world without zip ties? Mm-mm. be miserable. It would be. A little bit higher than I'd like, but I think that'll work. I'm going to have lobsters after this. You are? Yeah. What are you eating lobster with? Oh, Dan and Twyla. Thanks for the invite, Dan. So we're all done checking cameras here. Uh, we've got exactly six days until we get to come out and sit these stands. Uh, pretty exciting that we got a lot of photos. Like, 
so many that we just got sick of standing in the middle of the field looking at them. So we'll take a look at them when we get back to the house and we'll post some on here for you. But that's a wrap for today. We'll, uh, see, told you. Well, we're I just gonna, lost. I just what, lost everything. What we're gonna do at this point, I think, is we got probably like three or four episodes from the last deer season. So after this airs, we're probably gonna go into that stuff. We have some really good encounters, a buck kill with a bow. Um, and then from that point on, we're gonna try to get these videos out as fast as we can. Um, it's not gonna be like a daily vlog or a semi-live type thing, but we'll get them out as we're hunting and uh, kind of show you the progression of the season hopefully kill something but if not just uh try to enjoy the time but yeah. if you guys have any questions uh comment down below and uh give us a like and please subscribe yes we're please. just getting started on this channel and we're really looking forward to it and we're excited to uh film everything that we're doing throughout hunting season throughout fishing season and just maybe some stuff that we're doing on the side but uh throw the comments down below like and subscribe and we'll talk to you guys next time peace, peace.